go. Hi there, I'm Cindy Black. I'm here at the Bite of Seattle and we're talking to people about I-522, the ballot initiative to label genetically engineered food that will be on the ballot this November in Washington. Um, and you're here with uh, I am here, one of the sponsors. I'm here with Nature's Path, who is one of our sponsors for um, I-522 and a big supporter here. Um, they're, they're a local uh, company out of Blaine, Washington. Um, they're also um, have been supporting the movie that's coming out, um, GMO OMG, um, which we're going to be offering a showing of here in Seattle on July 29th, which is the beginning of GMO Awareness Week. Um, we're also planning several other activities that week, including we're going to be doing some chalk sidewalk chalk events out in front of some different places. Um, we're also going to be doing some freeway bannering with our large sign, Yes on 522, labeled GE Food. Um, we're also going to be having a protest at uh, Green Lake on Tuesday the 30th. Um, and basically we're going to be take the scarecrows and make some more scarecrows that we used in um, the March Against Monsanto with in information. And we're going to um, be um, um, at Westlake... Um, not Westlake, uh, I'm sorry, Green Lake on Tuesday, July 30th. We we're, haven't picked a time yet, but we're still working on that. Where can people get all the dates? You can events? go to Volunteers for I-522 Seattle, and we will be posting all the events that we're doing. It's our group, um, Volunteers for I-522, and we will um, be posting all our events right there. So we have things all scheduled that week, and then... That at the end of the week on um, Friday, uh, August 2nd, and Saturday, August 3rd, is the Justice Begins with Seeds Conference. Um, that's um, an international conference. There's speakers from all over the world that will be there, um, including Vandana Shiva, um, Jeffrey Smith, and many others to talk about uh, GMOs, seeds, and how it's so important for us to maintain our seeds and not let corporations patent them and take them over to the point where we won't be able to even own seeds anymore. It'll all be corporate owned. So we really need to pay attention to this. It's a great conference. We're going to be giving out some free tickets to this, to the conference as well as the movies. Um, in addition to the um, OMG, or a GMO OMG movie, we'll, there'll be several other movies shown that week, every night that week, including um, another movie, Dirt, which is a great documentary, and several others. Um, so I hope people can join us for some of our activities. Do you have a website? Um, we don't have a website. Oh, yes, we do, actually. We just started. Um, so it's volunteers for I-522. Dot com? Dot com, yes. And you're also present on Facebook. I don't know. She might have did um, dot org. It's just a brand new website. I haven't even seen it yet. So it's brand new. It just got started. So. But people can find you on Facebook. Yeah, oh, Facebook is a good place to start. And then the website just got developed. I, don't, I know less about that um, because I didn't start that one. But I know our Facebook page is very active. We're growing a lot of volunteers volunteers from there and hope people can join us. I'll put the link to your Facebook group below in the comments. Perfect, perfect. And then also too, um, uh, one of the things that we want to talk about is that uh, there are a lot of volunteer opportunities for the campaign and we want to enlist people to come and join us. You can do as little or as much as you want. You can pick and choose what actions or activities you want to be involved with. You don't even have to leave your house. Um, you can help us out by passing the word on out online, emailing, writing letters to the editor, etc. So please contact us. We'd love to get you involved with our group. We have a very active group here in Seattle, and uh, we would love to hear from some more folks. Where do you go to get your information and stay I, up, to, up to date on the news? Um, you know, our group is very good about keeping tabs on whatever's coming up in the news, and several of us peruse different websites, information, um, we keep a tabs on the Organic Consumers Association is a good source of information. Institute for Responsible Technology is a great uh, place for info. Um, and then there's also, lot, if you just Google uh, GMOs or genetic engineering of food, um, you'll see a lot of great information. You'll also see a lot of the corporate spin, but it's good to know what they're talking about. But read everything. There's a lot of information about it. And um, the more you read, the more you're going to think about this and uh, pursue uh, more information. You need to know about GMOs. Everybody does. It's affecting us all. Are you confident in November people are going to do I'm the right thing? I'm actually very 
confident, and the reason why is because we've had some good press on GMOs coming out lately um, with the, um, as far as education, but also some scary things that have happened with the, the genetically engineered wheat that was found in Oregon is making people question things. Um, also, more countries are um, coming up with bans against GMO maize in, in Europe. And so, as the more publicity that comes out about us, it helps our cause. Plus, the, our, we're grassroots people out here, we're all volunteers. Um, many of us um, out here, we, we work a lot of hours on this issue because we genuinely care. We don't get paid to do this. This is all about doing the right thing. It's, it's a responsibility because once you know about this, I feel it's your responsibility to share that information and to continue to get more informed and inform your friends, your family, your neighbors, everybody. Um, so please get involved, learn about GMOs, and please, whatever you do, vote yes on I-522 in November.